It's update time again! And you may notice that I'm re I've recorded this video on a Monday. And in case some of you don't know the significance of that, I said a while ago that I don't normally make videos on weekdays because I reserve that for family video editing. But I'm making this an exception for two reasons. First off, I got a new 3x3 three three cube today. And the reason why I got this is because, in honor of my mother, I ordered some quote-unquote pretty cube stickers. And in here, you can only see the white, but I got like aqua, pink, purple, and you know, all pretty colors. Anyway, so I got this cube with the intention of putting the pretty cube stickers on it, but this cube is a piece of junk, and I'll show you why. You get the idea. So, yeah. So, yep, that, my friend, was a dollar store cube. Let me show you the pieces lying on the floor. Yep. It's paint carpet, I know, but <laughs> this is a guest room. So, Yep, that was me crushing a Rubik's Cube with my bare hands. Now, that may, you may be asking questions like, why did I do that? How did I know it was such a junky cube? Well, the reason why is because I ordered two cubes. And I didn't say this in my last status update video, but I ordered two because I also ordered Dodo Cube stickers for my older brother. So, and actually, here's the pieces to the other cube. And actually, both cubes came broken, and I just assembled that one with pieces from both cubes. So, I did, but I could not even snap the pieces in. You know how you snap in that last edge piece to finishly assemble a cube? If I did that, the edge piece would break. So, here, let me show you. So, yeah, here's an edge piece. It's already broken, but this is what would happen. This whole chunk would come out once you try to pop in a piece. So I had to, I didn't show it, but I took off one of the stickers and on one of the axes of the cube, there is a screw that I could unscrew and I could take the center off. So I had to split that open to open that up. And then I put it back together just for the sake of showing myself smashing it here. <laughs> so anyway, about the cube and the order, what I... I just really wanted to get some cheap cubes, you know, my brother didn't need a good quality speed cube, or I just needed something that was a little less quality than a store-bought cube. You know, I wanted to spend less than I would than paying $20 for two store-bought cubes at Walmart. So I found these cubes on eBay for four bucks a piece, and I thought, well, four bucks, it can't be, you know, like a dollar store cubes worth, but... As you can see, that cube was probably a quarter's worth. I mean, that is sad. Uh, yeah, also, look at this. Watch what happens when you push down on this center. Oh, no, wait. Wrong example. Oh, yeah, this, this one will work. Look at that. You just push down, and the core shoots it out on some of the axes. Crazy! It's like the guy pays... 10 cents for the cubes and then sells them for four bucks on eBay with free shipping. So, ugh. So, yes, so I made a mistake here. So, lesson number one with eBay, never buy from sellers from China on eBay. That doesn't matter from cube4u.com. So, and lesson number two, never buy a cube where you don't know the brand. Make sure the brand is something you know, you know, it's just like a Rubik's Cube, you know. Currently, now that these are duds, I'm looking at store-bought cubes that people have set up for auction. So, yeah, that's lesson number two. Hopefully I don't learn a number three. And I actually videotaped while opening the package because, you know, the last time with my void cube, that 
came wrong. So I wanted to capture if there's something wrong with this other, and it just so happens that there was. So here's that video. Also note that my sister and mom were talking in the background. He wrote it himself. Ew. I bet it was. <laughs> that doesn't look right. That. Uh, Whoa, it's all broken. Looks smashed. Oh, it's like a dollar store cube, all right. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay for them? Four bucks a piece. Good grief, well, there was something This wrong one's even it. opened. Okay, well, I'll look into these and see what I can do. Look, this thing's falling out, too. Okay, so you can see how they came in, so... And also, another thing on the packaging is that I noticed there's a little thing that says, Made in China. Ugh. So anyway, I... So I asked the guy for a refund, rather than just new cubes, for obvious reasons. So I am waiting on that. So I got on eBay again, and I found a slick cube for sale for $14, which, you know, I didn't want to pay that much. And as you know, I ha already have a slick cube. This was what I got instead of my void cube, and that was the problem with that order. So, of course, so of course I wasn't going to buy that. That's more expensive than a store-bought cube. But then I checked out, he had two other listings up for auction. So the one that was, one was going to end tonight, so I started looking at it, and in the final hour, it was up to $5.50 with free shipping. So I just watched the computer off and on, and in the final minutes, I was watching it, it still remained at five fifty. So once it got down to 10 seconds, so that's one lesson whenever bidding on eBay. Always wait until, like, the last 30 seconds of the auction before bidding, because if you bid, like, an hour before it, someone else will bid higher, and then you'll end up having to bid even higher to get the offer. So always wait until the final seconds. So when 10 seconds came up, I punched in $7, and as you may know, when you punch in a really high bid like that, then that is the highest bid that you will do. So since it was at $5.50 and I punched in 7 then it would go up to $6 and then if someone else bid at $6.50 then it would automatically go up to $7 for me. It's called automatic bidding. So I was kind of hoping no one else started an automatic bid and would beat mine, but no, it turned out that no one else was watching me and so I ended up did winning the bid so I got another slick cube for $6. So that's really nice, and the reason why I wanted to get that is because they have it available in several colors, and they said that the buyer has a choice of either of them. So I chose one that's pink, so that makes the cube even more quote-unquote pretty. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. So I'm looking at the other auctions for 3x3 three three cubes because I need a black cube to put the yellow dodo cube stickers on. So hopefully those will turn out good, and... So yes, enough about the those cubes now. Okay, and the second reason I wanted to make this video now is to give a shout out to Monkey Dude 1313. He is going to be applying for a partner pretty soon, which I would love to see. It would be awesome to see his videos go longer than 10 minutes. So yes, I really enjoy my videos. I really can say that he is my favorite subscription. So Yes, go subscribe to him, get his subscribers up, increase his, increase his chance to become a partner. If you like my videos, most likely you'll like his too. So click on the link in this annotation here, in actually this clear thingy between my hands. Or if you want to continue watching this video, right click on the link in the movie description and open it in a new tab. Okay, about my challenges, I've decided to make a... Big decision about them. This past weekend, I got about six challenges up, but in the past week, I got over 20. So, it has become more than clear to me that there is no way for me to keep up with my challenge responses, much less get caught up. So, what I will be doing from now on is only responding to interesting challenges in the order that they are in response. That they, that they are in responded to my challenge video. Although, about the challenges in April, I did sort them by the day they were uploaded, so those may be just a little out of order from 
the way they show up as the responses do as in response to my challenge video. So, so I will only pick the most interesting ones. So, I must say a farewell to all of the checker patterns out there, except if you've challenged me to an interesting way to do the checker pattern, which some people have. So, in, in, to honor all the checker patterns, I've put together this whole collage of me saying the checker pattern in each of my challenges. 2 by 2 a checker pattern, a checker pattern, a checker pattern. The checker patterns of checker pattern, of checker pattern. The checker pattern, checker pattern. A checker pattern. The 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 checker pattern on the So yes, the time of the checker pattern is done. I, I hope that makes a lot of people happy, <laughs> except for the people who have challenged me to check a pattern. Anyway, and I also need your opinions about some things. Oh, and you may have noticed that in the past challenges, I did not put up a rating system. I don't think I'm going to rate my challenges, although feel free to rate each challenge based on how interesting it was to watch, not based on the quality that I made it. So feel free to do that. I think what I'm going to do instead, and this was suggested by someone, I forget. I'll put an annotation down there if he approves of it. And he said to do a challenge of the month, which I think is a good idea. So at the end of every month, or at the beginning of the next month, I will upload in a status update video which challenge of the month. Or actually what I'll do is I'll upload just a separate video for it and I will talk about the video and display the challenge video within that video. So I'll talk about that it's the challenge of the month, and then I'll show the challenge. And also, the, th the thing I wanted your opinion on is if I should create a separate channel for challenges. Now, I will still upload challenge responses to my main channel because, you know, I suspect that most of you find it interesting. So, if you don't, some people have said that they're tired of watching them, but maybe if you, if I only upload interesting challenge responses, you won't think that anymore. So, let me know if you guys would still like to see every challenge I've made in a separate challenge, because I do remove them after a while, the old ones. So, yeah, let me know about that. And the thing I've done in the past for an average of so-and-so solves is I've timed it all, so I would set a marker right at the first move that the challenger would start, his first move, and then I'd set a marker at the end that he made the last move, and then I'd time it myself. But that just takes a lot of time, so if you challenge me to an average of so-and-so solves, please time it yourself and then give that to me, and then I will use that time. And then I will also time my, cell, my solves. But since there's so much work, I may not even respond to average of five solves unless they're interesting. Okay, and what I forgot to say earlier in this video is that I did, ma did not make this status update on the weekend because I didn't really have, I didn't, couldn't really think of any things to talk about, but, or enough things to talk about, but now I have. I have a lot of things to talk about, so. And my Cubesmith order came in last Monday, and so now I have a tiled, uh, fused cube, so. And I am not confused about it. <laughs> I got that joke from Monkey Dude's video. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So yes, it's really nice. The tiles don't really pose a problem when the pieces move over it. It adds a different feel to it. So I have lubricated them both with Vaseline to break it in and then after a while I will clean it out and use silicone. So yes, this is really nice in tiles. It gives it a good feel. And also I finally put tiles on my slit cube. So what I did as I, I was getting very impatient with myself and some stickers had worn off and I kind of encouraged them a little bit like I would just go rub and the remaining part would just slip right off. So, but then after a while I just got tired of this. I said to myself, okay the temptation is too big and I want to have fun with this cube. So I finally just went rub 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 until every color came off and it became a dodo cube. Now, no worries, I did take a video of it. Here it is.
So yes, it looked pretty interesting after all the color was gone. So, but yeah, if you ever do plan on getting a slick cube, get replacement stickers or tiles for it. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed this a lot. It's a great speed cube, so much better than a store-bought, and it's so nice that it's adjustable. <laughs> And I also tiled my void cube, and you may have seen these cubes all tiled in my recent challenges. So, but yes, if you're gonna get a void cube, get replacement stickers or tiles for it. I mean, every time I look at this cube, I am just so thankful I put the new color scheme on. So, you may think I'm ridiculous, but yes, it is just so nice. And also, there's an interesting thing about it. I went ahead and tiled it with all the corners oriented in a certain position. So let's see, I'll turn on the backlight for detail. So you see these little mold lines or something? Kind of. You can see them at the base of each corner. Yeah, right there. So those are all parallel with each other on each side. And I think that causes the yellow and white sides to be a little more stiffer. So since, you know, those lines are down here all parallel with the yellow and white sides, it it's weird. It kind of makes it a little stiffer. You know, those lines seem to be like on this section, this flat side that goes down here seems to be one piece of the corner. Like the assemblers put one piece in there, and then they put the main corner section on top of that. And I think it makes it a little more stiffer, so whenever it's in the solved position, I find these two sides to be a little more stiffer than the others. Just something to know that I just wanted to know to you guys about. So, But yes, get replacement stickers for the Slick Cube and the Void Cube, definitely. Oh, and another thing I forgot to talk about is... My, I said it in a text update, a text status update on my channel that my family decided to take a hike up to the mountains. So we had a picnic up there, and so for most of the day I was not here, and I was also at church, so that took up some time too. And so I just really didn't have time to make my video contest video, and that will take a lot of time for me to make. Like, it'll probably take all day next Saturday for me to make these. I need to grade the videos, then I need to make the video. It's just all gonna take a lot of time. So, and as I said there, anyone who st would still like to enter, you can still do so. That you, you have until Friday to make it. So, don't make any videos Saturday morning, because I'll already be working on it then. And also, there's going to be a ch there may be a change in background in my videos. Coming, or May 30th, I, it's official, I will be flying down to Colorado Springs, Colorado to help out my older sister at Focus on the Family do some video work. She has this job with the media department there, and she would like my help. So, I'll be learning, dare I say it, Final Cut Pro on a Macintosh computer. <clears throat> anyway, so, yes, but I will still be using PowerDirector on a PC to edit my videos. My dad will let me borrow his laptop during the time, and I will be purchasing a 6-pin to 4-pin Firewire port thingy, so I can plug the Firewire that I plugged from the video camera to the computer into this little adapter, which I can plug into the laptop. So hopefully I'll still be able to make videos. And so, yeah, that will be interesting. Although, I have worked with Final Cut Pro a little bit, but I found it annoying. Although that was Final Cut Express, so maybe there's a difference. But anyway, just, just to let you know, it'll probably be two weeks into June. So, yeah, if, even if I, if I have time to make videos. So, maybe challenge responses, but just to let you know about that. Oh, and also some good news. I found my keychain 3x3 and my Rubik's UFO. Yay! <laughs> you know where they were? They were under the seat in our Suburban. The reason why is because we, I have not 
ridden in the Suburban for quite some time, we've been mostly driving in our Subaru. So, yeah, I guess I just left them in there sometime. My sister found my Rubik's UFO in there, and then I went out there and found my keychain 3x3. You may have seen that in the challenge responses, too. So, yes, I'm happy now, and I was able to respond to a challenge where someone challenged me with a keychain 3x3. With, of course, the checker pattern. <laughs> Okay, I think that's everything, hopefully. I would like to make a few tutorials this weekend, if I have to. Oh, oh, about my challenge responses. I will only be making two each weekend. Maybe more or less, but generally two responses a weekend. So that way I have lots of more time to work on other videos. Because, you know, I'm tired of putting challenges first for just... I don't mean to be mean to you guys, but you're only one person each, rather than the other 3,000 subscribers I have. Oh, and another thing about my profile picture is, as you notice, I had a picture of my Void Cube. So, I will be putting a picture of my latest cube that I get up there, you know, when I have time to make it and crop out the background and such. And if I get multiple cubes, at a time, then for one week I'll show one cube, and then the next week I'll show another cube, and the fine, and then my favorite cube will be at the end. So, yeah, just another update. Yeah, that, so as I was saying before I interrupted myself, I would like to make a void cube tutorial because that's simple. That's simple. There's not much to say. And I looked at other tutorials, and their method doesn't seem to be any better than mine. So why not just show my method? And mine does have some rhyme and reason rhyme and reason to it, you don't just... So... Why, yeah. The, you may already know the algorithms that I may show you. And then, I would like to get my V-Cube 7 tutorial up. Hopefully, I can get the time next week to do that, too. So, but yeah, and this has been in the pattern from one of my challenge videos, so... Okay, that's everything. Bye now.